wends mine up. It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm gonna choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us, too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. 
I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on. Let's enjoy life. <laughs> Okay. 
You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes, yes, Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President.